All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to be going over Equinox, which is a brand new baked beans fork over on the Kronos chain. But before we get into it, if you could please smash a like, subscribe down below if you are new, and turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video, guys. Make sure to go ahead and follow me over on Twitter at JPKDefi so you don't miss a future tweet about what I'm doing in crypto and DeFi before it gets to YouTube. Also, guys, make sure to go ahead and follow me um well i just i just mentioned that go ahead and check out the link in the description down below to the premium discord server if you are interested we do whitelist book giveaways nft giveaways we do cool throughout the week you get to see my portfolio and a bunch of other benefits so check it out if that's something you're interested in with that being said let's jump into the video so essentially what you do here and one thing that jumps out to me with these guys is that i like the website the website's kind of developed a little bit differently into like this kind of space theme and i like it so essentially what you what you do is you come over to here and on the right hand side you've got the andromeda market now you've got the contract balance you've got the market reserves you've got the price of chromium and you've got the council intervention uh intervention sorry so you come into buy starships you put in how much crow you want to spend and then it comes up with the amount of total starships that crow will be able to get you right so essentially what you then do is this balance will update. It will say your amount of starships there and it will say your unclaimed chromium. So you buy your starships, you own, uh, you earn chromium, which of course is the, the crow token, right? Um, and then what happens is you can construct more starships and re that's reinvesting back into the platform. Or you can go ahead and sell the chromium and get your crow tokens back out. But guys, with that being said, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Always do your own research and be very careful about what you're investing in crypto and DeFi because it's the riskiest stuff in the world, especially when it comes to these miners and these forks of bait beans. They are super, super risky. So yeah, pretty cool um, pretty cool kind of way of them doing it. So you've got the world order starship mining rate. You've got starship daily return. And so that's your amount of chromium per day there. Um, you've got starship daily return of 6%. So you make 6% per day. You've got a 2,198% APR. And you've got a, the, the thing that bothers me here is, or not bothers me, but the thing that's slightly annoying is they have a 10% deposit fee, which is really high. I mean, we've seen some of them at 2 or 3%. Some coming in at 10% is interesting. It's pretty high, but I do like the uniqueness. And they also have this counter innovation, uh, intervention, sorry, which we're going to go over in a second. But yeah, that's just one thing I wanted to mention is they do have a pretty high fee there. Let's check out this council intervention then. We can see it's happening in the next so 12 hours or so. So what does this mean? Well, the market sentiment changes uh, very fast in the DeFi space. And what is growing fast today may not be so fortunate in a week. Yeah, right. We, we, we definitely know that and know that feeling. To give us a greater ability to respond, we have implemented a council intervention function, which is our form of a rebalancing mechanism. When the mining of chromium uh, exponentially rises due to an influx of new investors and starships, the counter intervention can be called to burn 10% of the free floating supply, inflation managed. On the other hand, if the market has slowed down significantly, we can once again uh, call the counter intervention to incrementally boost the amount of starships you receive. Um, uh, you receive for less chromium, making it more attractive for new investors. Additionally, if it is hard, it is hard coded that the function cannot be called more than once every two weeks. So the intervention can help nudge chromium in either direction without causing huge swings in price. Okay, so maybe this is 12 days. Yeah, not 12 hours there. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it means that they've got this mechanism where they can rebalance things. They can rebalance the payout rewards depending on, on how the contract is doing, which I do like. That that kind of enables us some more sustainability. So what they've done is they've obviously taken the contract from Baked Beans and forked it, but they've also added in this new sort of feature, which is pretty cool, and it shows some extra dev work from the team, which I do like. So let's take a look at uh, Twitter, and we'll take a look at CrowScan here. So on CrowScan, they have about $235,000 in the contract, so pretty healthy. I think they've been live for a couple of days now as well. Um, so again, pretty good stuff. Let's actually go to the last page here um, and we'll see when this did go in. Okay, yeah, so it looks like the first sort of uh, investment here. Let's see, the first investment, whitelist ad, whitelist ad. We don't want to see all these whitelists. Um, let's see here. Okay, so there was a load of failed transactions. Let's see when the first actual transaction went through here. Uh, where Where are we? It's just a bunch of whitelists. So about a day ago, I want to say. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. No, these are failed transactions again um, for whitelists. 
see even more failed transactions this is people trying to deposit before they you know before the it goes live okay so they went live just over a day ago uh, on 6 p.m on the 14th so it's been live for two days um they've got about two hundred thousand dollars in the contract which isn't too bad there all right they have about 682 followers over on twitter which is pretty good to see as well and it looks like they have a discord server and not telegram which yeah is fine good stuff to see there all right one thing i would say is that they are not audited um they don't have an audit as of current so just be very careful about that i don't believe anyway all right so if you do go into their discord it, they do have an audit section and it does look like they have actually been audited by someone called um uh, philip tomb raider DeFi auditor generally available 6 to 6 a.m to 9 p.m utc so this is quite strange um this is fairly strange i haven't seen this before where they get audited by someone in their discord server i don't know why they don't just get audited by Hayes crypto like everyone else um and look i audits are like 1200 bucks from Hayes crypto um so you know like it's not like a massive cost to pay for that sort of you know for, for that extra kind of uh, uh for that extra security for investors right so or for people looking into the project so i don't know we'll see but this is kind of strange that they've done this directly within um uh, within discord but it is what it is right um fine okay cool so there you go equinauts is live it's been live for a couple of days but guys that's gonna be it for the video just start introduce this one to you today i want to thank equinox for reaching out and sponsoring the video but guys if you haven't joined me you smash a like let me know down below what you think of the baked beans folks by the way i'm gonna have some videos on the original baked beans coming out over the next few weeks as well um, because I want to cover that because obviously I'm covering all these forks, but I haven't even covered the original yet, which is quite funny. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, and I will see you on my next video. Peace.